आई लाइक वीडियो गेम्स एंड इफ यू आर लाइक मी यू हैव प्रोबेबली फेल्ट द ओवरवेलमिंग अर्ज टू प्ले एवरी न्यू गेम दैट हिट्स द मार्केट बट लेट्स बी रियल देर इज जस्ट नॉट इनफ टाइम वेल आई एम इन माई थर्टीज पीपल सिमिलर टू माई एज कैन रिलेट टू इट सो लेट मी शेयर माई स्टोरी एंड हाउ आई मेड पीस विद इट फर्स्ट ऑफ द शेयर नंबर ऑफ द गेम्स एवेलेबल टूडे इज स्टैगरिंग फ्रॉम ट्रिपल ए ब्लॉक बस्टर टू इंडी जेम्स देर आर थाउजेंड ऑफ टाइटल्स अक्रॉस मल्टीपल प्लेटफॉर्म न्यू रिलीज हैपन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी वीक एंड इट्स इम्पॉसिबल टू कीप अप विद ऑल ऑफ दैम especially when you are working and have other stuff to do and it's not just about quantity each game demands time sometimes hundreds of hours take games like the witcher 3 or breath of the wild these are incredible experiences but they require a significant time investment i remember starting the witcher 3 in 2018 only to realize half way through that i couldn't keep up with the story line because i kept taking long breaks sometimes that were one or two days or sometimes a week even if you have all the time in the world playing every game would still be challenging each game offers a unique experience and to truly appreciate them you need to invest not just time but emotional and mental energy too i can't count the number of the times i put down a game intending to come back but uh, never did Now let's talk about how I manage my time to get the most of my gaming experiences. First thing I did was prioritize. Made a list of games that truly really excite me. Focus on genre or franchises I love. It's better to fully enjoy a few games than to rush through many. I have started prioritizing RPGs and story driven games because those are the what I enjoy the most like Resident Evil, Alan Wake and Elden Ring. Created a gaming schedule or a backlog list. This helps me keep track of what I want to play and prevents me from feeling overwhelmed by my limited time. I recently started keeping a notebook where I note down games I want to play and the ones I have finished. It helps keep things in perspective. Next thing is I started to embrace the joy of discovery. You don't need to feel pressure to play what everyone else is playing. Some of the best gaming experience come from lesser known titles that you stumbled upon. I discovered a small indie game called Celeste this way and it turned out to be one of the most rewarding and gaming experience I have had. Indie games often provide unique memorable experiences that you won't find in mainstream titles. Plus they are usually more affordable and often shorter, making them perfect for those with limited time. Finally, remember that gaming is supposed to be fun. It's not a race or a competition. Enjoy the journey, experience the stories and connect with the other players. I used to stress about finishing every game but now I focus on enjoying the ones I play even if I don't finish them join gaming communities share your experiences and get recommendations sometimes word of mouth can lead you to hidden gems in the end it's all about finding the balance you can't play every game but you can create meaningful gaming experience with the ones you choose making the most of your limited time thanks for watching If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell share your thoughts in the comments below until next time bye bye